All right, welcome back, everyone. It's time again for some Stock Lock Sunday, and I am Big Al. Uh, this time around, we're going to take a look at this big, beefy guard security padlock. Uh, they wanted to make sure you knew it was hardened. Um, but yeah, as you can see, probably from in the back here, I brought down some of my uh, similar locks. Um, we got one made by Packlock. Now, this is the aluminum body. Uh, again, made by Packlock. I got it from Locket. Uh, Packlock, I understand, discontinued uh, these locks, but if you're interested, you can still get some of these from uh, Locket, as far as I know. Um, then we got the American Lock uh, brand, the Sesame, the Master, one from Ace Hardware, and then the beautiful Schlage over there. I really like that Schlage. And back to the guard security. Now, uh, I'm not real familiar with guard. I haven't seen them around quite a bit, but, um, I mean, the looks of the padlock, it's a great beefy padlock. I don't know what kind of core it has really. Uh, we'll get into that, but, um, being you can replace the core, even if the core is bad, uh, like I said, just put a good core in it and you got a nice, nice lock, um, double ball locking. I'm sure here's the keys, uh, good bidding too, by the way, look at this key. Really not bad at all. And, like I said, yep, double ball locking. Um, to be fair, it does look a little bit uh, not the best made. I can see the sharp edges and the holes not cut real good. Not a quality lock like the Schlage or the, or the Pack Lock or the Sesame. Uh, but, again, put a good core in it and you'll have a really good lock, I'm sure. So let's see what it takes to pick into it and see if the core is as nice as the lock is. We're going to go with top of keyway. And where's the Peterson jam? Here we go. Let's see if it puts up a fight. We'll just go right here. All right. I'll tell you what, it's heavy. All the way in the back. Nothing. All right, I think four. Three, let me see, five, four, three, two, well, not real awful, huh? Five, four, maybe four is not set. Three, okay, the core moved a little bit that time. Two, there we go. One, oh, really? Huh. Okay, uh, yeah, that one did not put up much of a fight. So, uh, let's tear into it and see what kind of core this has. Um, like I said, on the upside, I can put a good core in this lock and I'll have a great lock. So, uh, not real worried about that. So, uh, what do we got? Phillips. Uh, we got a Phillips. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was not good. <laughs> Not good. There we go. Huh. All right, let me get some of that out of the way. Base plate off. Ooh, and another downside. I'll be darn. Uh, I was expecting more out of this, to be fair. Uh, I just did a video recently where I mentioned this. You see how this lobe, let me point that out. This lobe right here. The part that sticks out, that's what opens the lock. When you turn the key, let me get the key. We put the key in the lock and we turn the core and it moves, rotates, and that lobe in the bottom is what reacts with that. You see that piece down inside here? It grabs a hold of that part and turns it, thus letting the ball bearings fall in, and the lock opens up. Now, 
I've mentioned this before. If you have one of these bypass tools, uh, you can buy them easily. Slip it through the back of the lock. Through the back of the lock. All right. I think just that clip is in the way. Okay, there it goes. The clip is in the way. There you go. Slip it in and then you rotate this. Boom. And you open the lock by turning that piece in there just like the lobe does on the core. So what they failed to put on there was an anti-bypass waiver like this. When this is on there, you can't get that tool through the back of the lock. Now, they do have wafer breakers and so on and so forth, but you wouldn't have to worry about that too much. So, any hoodles, uh, that's another fail. So, let's uh, bring a pin and tray down and see why this thing was so easy to open up. Let's uh, try and get this clip off of here without killing myself. I'm trying to grab the clip. Oh, that thing's tight. Real tight. Real tight. Okay. That was harder to, harder than the lock itself. Okay, what I do with the key? Bada boom, bada bang. Uh, shim, right there. Rotate the core slightly. Uh, follower right there. Okay, for some reason, it is a five pin lock, but for some reason, there's a little divot. Uh, we'll get to that. You see the little divot where there would be a sixth pin? It's just a little partially cut that does not go all the way through, I don't think. It does not. So we'll figure out what that's for in a minute. All right, so I'm going to speed this part up because it's super boring. I'll get the pins laid out and then we'll come right back. All right, so hang tight. Okay, so we're back. We got the lock disassembled. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so what I can see is some real ugliness. Now that divot I mentioned in the sixth position right here, uh, it seems like it's maybe just a centering device. Uh, there's a ball bearing here that was in the core, spring loaded. So I guess when the lock is in the upright or locked position it just kind of uh keeps it centered uh not sure why it's in a padlock like this but hey um now these pins the reason it was so easy to open up they're pretty darn bad uh not gonna lie i'm gonna zoom in on some of these these are what we call uh wannabe spool pins they're really really bad you can see a good example. All the, all the uh, driver pins are the, are the same type. We call them blob pins because they're so poorly made. Uh, that's just awful. That's the kind of pins you might find in something like a Harbor Freight Lock, uh, to be honest. Uh, so, wasn't expecting that. So, what I'll probably do is take and put a nice core in this lock, and I'll have a good lock. So, that's it. With the What was it? The Guard Security yeah, a little less than I expected. So that wraps it up. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. It helps out a lot. And you know I'm going to say it. If you like this video, hit that like button. All right. It looks like this. Thank you very much.